Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In today's video, we will be diving in how to create an SFTP user and provide access to a specific directory. In addition to this, the user will not have access to the server's console. In other words, the SFTP user will not be able to log into the server via the bash shell. So let's get started. SFTP is just a secure version of FTP which encrypts data while it moves from a source to the destination. As a system administrator or a developer, you might have come into a situation where you wanted to allow access to a specific user or another developer access to just a directory out of the several directories in the web server. Here is what exactly I am going to show you how you can achieve it. I am here in my web server and websites are hosted on this directory slash pair slash dub dub dub. I want to grant access to a new developer just to this directory out of several other directories uh, for security reasons and prevent potential mistakes that might take the server down or uh, the server may lose the data. To start, we will first create a user named SFTP uh, without access to shell. Let's verify if the user is created. Yes, the user is created with the user ID 1002. Now let's set a strong password for the user. Type the password and hit enter. Again type the password and hit enter to confirm that the last entry of the password matches with the previous one. Ok, the password is updated successfully. Next let's try to log into the server's cell or console using the newly created user's credentials. As you can see, uh, we are restricted to log in. Now to configure directory access to the user, let's open the SSH configuration file, which is slash etc slash SSH slash SSHD underscore config. After the file is open, press backslash key and type subsystem. Hit enter and press I key to switch the editor to the insert mode. Then type the configuration parameters as I am typing on the screen here. You should replace the username and directory path if you are using something different than mine. Then press the escape key, type colon x and hit enter to save and exit the file. After modifying the SSS configuration, we need to restart the SSSD service using sudo space service space SSSD space restart. That's all. To verify, open a SFTP client application such as FileZilla. To know the server's IP address, I go to the server's terminal and query the IP address with curl space ifconfig.me. Copy the IP address from here and enter here in the FileZilla's host box as sftp colon slash slash the IP address, username is sftp user, enter the password, enter the port number which is 22 and click on the quick connect button. Here we go. The user is connected via the SFTP and the contents of the allowed directory is listed here. To verify if the user has the right access, create a new file such as test.html or so. The file is created successfully. This verifies that the user can read and write to the directory and subdirectories. Checking on the server, we can see the file is created by the user. Now let's try to log in as another SFTP user just to try if everything is in place and nothing has gone wrong. I have another SFTP user here named developer. I am going to log in using the developer user's credentials.
as you can see i am logged in and the user's home directory listed by default the user however can switch to the slash bar slash dub 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 directory as well okay friends this is how we can create a sftp user and allow access to a specific directory i hope the video was useful to you please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching see you on other videos till then have a nice time goodbye